Welcome to the Art of Listening to Your Body podcast. My name is Jin Ong and I'm your host. I love talking about the mind-body connection and how your physical body manifests your emotional state and how this leads to living a life grounded in values and driven by purpose. Hi there, hope you're well. Today I'm going to be talking about cleaning up the mess in your emotional and external life. Now I talk a lot about how the body manifests your emotional state and a lot of you are curious about what your physical discomfort, injuries, illness and disease may mean. This work relates a lot to the chronic issues, the more ongoing issues where you feel like you've tried everything. You've seen lots of therapists, tried different diets, you've tried exercises and you're not getting anywhere. When I share what different parts of the body and issues with the body mean on an emotional level, people often think, okay, this is great. You've just told me what's going on for me and I get it, but what do I do with this? The reason we talk about emotions and what emotions are behind different physical issues is that it's important to first acknowledge these emotions. And I like to use the analogy of a mess. So let's think about the external mess that you can see in your life. This can be the mess in your home, a room in your house, your office, your garden, your computer, or maybe your phone. So you know all those emails that pile up, all the files that you can't find, or the photos on your phone that you've been meaning to sort for years. Or maybe it's a pile of laundry or a drawer that you cringe at when you open it up because you just know what a mess it is inside. I'm the type of person who loves to get things out and make them look good again. I like to clean spots, I like to redecorate, and I am one of those people who loves to watch Dr. Pimple Popper. One day I was reupholstering a seat and I had to pull out all the little nails that pinned the fabric down and someone walked past and said, oh, you look like you're one of those people that likes to squeeze pimples, right? (laughs) So they could tell just from what I was doing. And it's true. I like to remove things. And for any of you who have been through renovations, you know that you've got to pull it all apart first. There's some mess, but then you get to recreate. And I've been known to visit my friends' houses and clean out their space. I see their space and I go, do you want some help with that? And normally they're quite happy for the motivation and someone to support them. Now, I'm not attached to their things emotionally, so I find it really easy to biff them. Or Marie Kondo style would be to thank it and to put it in the giveaway or the bin pile. So for me, a messy home is a messy mind. Messy space, messy mind. I don't like it when I can't find things. We can keep walking past the mess and ignoring it, but it's still there. You know what's hidden in that drawer or behind the cupboard, or you're still tripping over your dirty laundry. And this is like your emotions. You know what is in there, or sometimes actually you don't know what's in that box that's been taped up since you moved house 15 years ago. A lot of what I share is feminine and masculine, and I love to talk about these polarizing and balancing energies in a practical way. So what I share in the art of listening to your body is the feminine aspect. It's the storytelling, the experience, and your emotions. The masculine process, which balances this out, is the process that we go through to get these things, these emotions up to the surface, and then sort them out. It's the doing part to move through. So if your emotions are too much to deal with right now, let me give you some tips. And I want you to start here. I encourage you to start looking at your external mess. Get on top of your paperwork, your dirty laundry, that messy room, or get outside into your garden and clean it up. Some of you may have not done your taxes for years, Sit down and block out some time to just do this. Pull all your papers out and reorganize them. Start sorting through your emails and create folders where you can file new emails into. Go through and organize the apps on your phone and put them into little folders. Delete the stuff that you're not using. Unsubscribe from emails. Clean out a room in your house. And if that's too much, start with a cupboard or a drawer. Get rid of things that you don't need in your life anymore that are using up valuable space. 
Same goes for emotions and experiences that don't serve you anymore. I do this clean out process with my external life every quarter. So we're in April now. We've just finished January, February, March quarter. And I'll go through, pull all my files out, tidy them up, uh, tidy up my emails, delete a whole bunch of stuff, and I get to my laptop as well. And then I often find that I'm cleaning up my house. Now, I set aside about three days to do the reorganization process. And every time I do it, even though I've been doing this for years, it can feel like I'm not actually getting to the things that I need to do. However, I need that time to clear stuff out of the way and create space to start moving forwards. During this time, while I have three days, is I also take the time to review, reflect, and then renew for the quarter moving forwards. But that's another process I'll take you through another time. So this is not a once off. You don't want to just do it and forget about it and let it all build up again. It's an ongoing process. And my advice would be is that you have a massive clean up right now and then you schedule in time every month or every quarter to do this. To summarise, if it's too much for you to start unpacking your emotions, let's get onto some positive procrastination and start to deal with the external mess in our lives because often it is a bit of a reflection of what's going on for us internally. Get a friend on board to support you, keep each other accountable and just start chipping away. I encourage you to just get started. And when you feel like you've done with the external mess, that's when you've created space for other issues to come to the surface to be dealt with. So I'd love for you to share with me where you're at and if you're going to start dealing with your external mess today or whenever, where are you going to start? Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you enjoyed it and want to hear more, please subscribe and share this with your friends. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. My handle is The Art of Listening to Your Body. If you're interested in getting started with a foundational exercise, head to my website, planningpowerhouse.com and grab your free core values worksheet.